Hello, it's Chim Games here once again, and in this video we are going to create this interaction text system. So when we get near, you can see we have this door text here, and when we go off, it will go off. Okay, and when we interact, it will go off, and it will come back when we can interact again. So yeah, let's get started. First, you want to go to the link in the description that takes you to my Google Drive and you want to download this text background PNG. Okay? After you have done that, you want to go back to your project and you want to go to the textures folder and you want to import the text background PNG. Okay? Then you want to open it and you want to set the texture group to UI and compression setting to user interface 2D. Now, when you save and close, you should see it like this. Okay, the next thing that you want to do is you want to go to the HUD folder and to the W uh, player HUD. Here, we want to go here to the designer. We want to select our canvas panel. Then we want to add a border here. And let's align it to the middle. Okay, and let's set the size X to 200 and Y to 40. Alignment 0.5 on X and minus 4 on here. Okay, now when we reset this, you can see it's around here. If you want to move it upwards or downwards, you want to change this value. So, for example, minus 3 little bit more up, minus 5, a little bit more down. So I will leave it to minus 4. Now uh, here under the brush, what we want to do is we want to select the image, which will be the text background, like that. And then what we want to do, we want to rename this border to be inter, interact text um, BG, BJ, uh, BG, or background, or you can just write background. Maybe let's do it that way. <laughs> background. Okay. Then what we want to do, as this selected, we want to get a text, and we want to move it to here. Okay. And now we want to rename this text to interact text and we want to make this variable true so is variable true and also this background we want to make it as variable okay now here on the text what we want to do we want to set our font i will set it to 18 then i will change the justification align text center also horizontal alignment to the middle and vertical alignment to the middle center i mean and now I will change this typeface to regular and then I will go here where we have shadow offset. I will set these values to like 2. Shadow color I will make it 0.75 on the alpha so it will be 0.75 of the black. And yeah, now it's looking like this. Now we can see, for example, door, it will look like this. Okay, and now let's set this to empty. And now we want to go up here. And we, what we want to do, I will actually show you. We want to go to the interact text background and we want to size the content. But now what happens is it will make it super small. So we want it to have some padding on it. So on the padding left, let's set it to like 50, and also on the right, let's set it to like uh, 50. So we have these corners here, and top I will set it to 8 and 8. Okay, now I think it's pretty good. And it's the correct size that I want it to be. So, the next thing that we want to do. We want to go to the interact text background and we want to scroll down to the render opacity 
and for you it might not be here under the behavior if you are using different Unreal Engine version it might be here I don't remember exactly where but a little bit downwards somewhere here so let's set this to zero so we cannot see it now now let's compile save and actually let's quickly create an animation which will be called show inter action text and let's add this interact text background track render opacity 0 and to the point 5 uh, point 25 let's make it 1 now let's duplicate this and let's rename this to be hide uh, interaction text like that oh we still have this here now let's double click this to open it and here on the zero mark let's change this to one. Oh, i was on minus uh, minus 0 0.05 so uh, here on the zero 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 let's make it one and here on 0.25 let's make it zero so it will fade away and on this one it will come to the screen so compile save and let's go to the graph and here on the graph we have to do few things let's go under here somewhere let's create a custom event this custom event let's call it set uh, interaction text here we have to add two inputs the first one will be called text and we want to change it to text of course this one the second will be boolean and it will be called can interact now what we want to do is we want to get our interaction text background uh, sorry interaction text and we want to get from it and we want to set text under the content this one we want to set it here to the text like this then what we want to do we want to add a branch so b and left click and we want to get the can interact to here let's add some reroads so it looks a little bit better like this and actually let's move it a little bit further yeah somewhere around here yeah it's good enough and now what we want to do we want to get from this text and we want to check if it's not equal exactly this okay and what we want to do or check we want to get from this other pin and we want to make literal text like this and let's select this and press q to align and so if it's not equal to empty we don't want to add anything here then let's add a branch from the true so if it's not equal to empty then we can show it and if it is equal to empty so false here we will hide it okay and first we will check if we can interact if we can we can just continue if we can't we will connect this soon to the where we fade away the uh, text so now what we want to do we can actually come up here we can copy all this Control C, Control V to here from the true to the up and from the false to the down and also from here from the false to here and let's add a reroute so it looks cleaner like this and now let's let's just change the animations show dot anim let's change it to show interaction text and hide dot anim let's get the show uh, sorry hide interaction text connect to here so yes so what it does is we will first set the text and if it's em if it is empty we will hide the whole slot not empty we will show the slot okay but we're gonna show it 
uh, play the show animation if it already has played. So if we interact with something and then we turn and interact with something else, it will just change the text. And also here, if we cannot interact anymore, it will just play this uh, hide interaction animation. Simple as that. Now let's compile and save all. We can close the W player HUD. Now let's go to the uh, PP player character. And what we want to do here, we want to actually go to here to the interaction trace. And here, where after the we check if the actor is the same as before, and after this branch, and after this set focus, we want to actually move all this code further, like this, I think. Um, maybe not that much. Yeah, something like that. Then what we want to do is... Oh, one thing that I forgot. Let's go back to the third person map and let's go to the interfaces. And let's open the interactable interface. And here we have the scan interact function. Let's just call, uh, rename it to be get details because we will get more details than they can interact. Okay, let's add another uh, variable and this one will be called interaction text. We will add this so we can change it by the actor. So every actor can have its own interaction text. Now let's change this to text and let's compile and save. Now let's close this. And let's go back to the PP player character. And here, up here, what we want to do, we want to get our hot ref from the references. And from here, we want to set interaction, uh, I cannot write, set interaction text. Okay, and the text that we want to set up here will be this empty text. Okay. And to the can interact, we want to get the interaction can interact variable connected to here. Now let's connect this back to here. Now under here, what we want to do, we can actually copy this whole thing, paste it here like this. And let's actually move this down. Uh, actually, let's move them here and this a little bit closer. Now we want to get from here, from the interaction text, let's actually move this, this little bit here. Now, from the interaction text, we can connect it to here. So, if we have the same actor, we will just get this interaction text from it. And actually, a little bit more downwards. Yeah, something like that. So, yes, now we have to go here to the end, or actually here where we get these details. So, if the if it does implement interface here, we can actually cut this link and move this further. And now we can, again, paste the set interaction text. We can delete this and interact from here and connect this to here. Now let's move this hard draft here to the middle and connect this can interact to here and this text to here. Okay, now we want to copy this note one more time here. Connect this, the hard draft to here and let's actually move this here and let's add a reroute so it looks uh, better. Maybe like this. And let's connect this to the can interact also. And we want to leave the text empty here. Now let's connect to here and let's add a reroute and connect back to here. And actually I want to move this a little bit further here. And now I see that these are not actually aligned perfectly. So what I will do is select these and press Q and it didn't work correctly. But now it is okay. It's good. So what did we just do here? So if the actor is 
not equal to the old actor so it's the new actor then what we want to do we want to first set the text empty here and then we want to check if it implements interface if it does not then we will uh, set the text empty and can interact to false so it will fade it away and if it does it will get uh, can interact from it and it will get the interaction text also from it and under here if it is the same actor than before it will do all these things set focus and stuff like that and it will set the interaction text by can interact which we set here we can also get it from here to here but i think it looks cleaner because it would be like yeah i think this looks cleaner and so the text also from here now what we have to do only one more thing let's compile let's save all let's go to the purpose map let's go to the blueprints and let's go to the interactable and to the door here under interfaces we have this get details thing and here we have this interaction text let's actually promote it to a variable let's set it to be instance editable and expose spawn now let's compile so we can set this text let's set it to be door and we can obviously change it on the level if we want to use something else for different door but default it will be door so now when we compile save all go to the level and play should work you can see door when we go away it will fade away and when we open it will go away and it will come back as you can see everything is working correctly and i think this interaction system is already starting to look pretty nice so yeah i actually think that was all for this video if you like what you saw please click the like button and subscribe for more and yeah hope you have a great day and see you on the next one bye